Now, I collected coins. What about you, Bob? What sort of coins? <laughs> Pound coins. <laughs> yeah. Gold and silver ones, yes. <laughs> but I know many people probably did collect things like stamps, dolls, or maybe even action man figures when they were growing up. However, for one man, his childhood collection grew into a serious hobby, then a profession, and now an obsession. Yes, James Wigington collects cannons, armoury and weapons, and now he's built a museum next to his home at the former RAF base at Snitterfield to show off all his exhibits. So we sent Lucy Watson along to meet the keen collector. His obsession with all things armoured started right here on Central News in 1988. I just happened to see these pair of cannons. I mean, an amazing find. Um, I later sort of had them transported and uh, got them back to Stratford. Back then, James Wigington bought an 18th century cannon thought to have been used in the Battle of Trafalgar. Fast forward 21 years and that hobby is now a serious profession. My father gave me a, um, a very early brass fishing reel uh, when I was about eight years old and uh, obviously then it came weapons and then obviously bigger cannons. So I think when you get sort of a young boy or young girl early enough to collect things, it, it sort of grows and becomes, it gets into your veins and your soul and <coughs> it's a job to break, I'm afraid. So that's what you see today. In the 19th century, James's grandfather was a gun maker in Birmingham. The inspiration for this museum and the reason behind James's eclectic mix of exhibits. This armoured elephant is the centrepiece at this museum, designed by artist Terry English, who's worked on films like Harry Potter and Gladiator. And inside this cabinet, closely guarded, is a knife Madonna gave to one of her boyfriends. Another huge attraction is this crossbow made exactly to the drawings and specifications of Leonardo da Vinci. Stratford Armoury is opened six weeks ago and shows more than a thousand artefacts dating back to 1750. Some found on shipwrecks, some washed up on the world's coastlines. Completely and utterly great. Really magnificent. It's probably one of the best museums I've ever been to. For James, this museum is his history realised. For generations to come, it's history preserved. Lucy Watson in Stratford-upon-Avon for Central Tonight. Battles brought alive, eh? Wonderful mm -hmm. stuff. Well, now, time to take a look at some of the first battles on the pitch with a roundup of the first day of a new football season. Here's Bob Hall.